What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a very, very, very long time, but uh, I wanted to make this review because I thought this would be very, very helpful. I know a lot of y'all have had car trouble before, right? Specifically talking about car battery or truck battery, whatever, battery. Um, so I found this really cool product on Amazon. I've always wanted to try it out because I'm always seeing ads on it and everything. So I was like, you know what? Screw it, right? And if, if not, then it's Amazon. I could just return it, right? So I tried it out and my battery's actually dead again on my old truck. So I'm going to show you how it works. It's a perfect opportunity. I missed the last opportunity, but uh, this is perfect opportunity. Okay, so this product is, um, it's a jump starter um, slash flashlight slash phone charger or whatever kind of charger you want. This product is uh, the, the Fee 2. That's the name, Fee 2 Jump Starter. I don't know the exact description, uh, but I'll put a picture right here just so y'all can see. And I'm also going to put a link in the description. Uh, this is just to help y'all out. So this product comes like this. Let me show you. Let me flip this around. So it comes in this really cool case. It's, it's soft, but it's, you know, kind of hard and rugged uh, to protect it. Uh, it comes with the straps here, so it won't be flying all over the place. Comes with your with your cables right here. I'll show you how this works right now, because I'm, I'm going to actually try it right now. Uh, this is just a little thing to separate it, so you won't be scratching it and stuff, you know. Or at least that's what I use it for. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot uh, air compressor also. That's what it is. It's an air compressor. Um, so yeah, this, this is pretty cool. I've used this a couple of times and then it has all these little fittings in here. I just put them all in the Ziploc, but it's for the air compressor part, They're like different kind of balls and things that you need to air up, you know? So comes with all that. It's like little netted right here. Um, uh, let's try the jump starter. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to take this out. I already used the jump starter one time, so I don't know how much battery is left. Anyways, hold it down to turn it on. Um, you're going to see blinking on the screen, but it actually doesn't blink like that. It's actually solid. So anyways, it's got two, two uh, bars right now. Uh, let me show you that the flashlight works. So it's got a button here on the side for the flashlight. You hold it down, it's on right there. Press it again, press it again. I guess that's like a SOS. I'm not holding it down or nothing. And press it again and turn it off. This power button is for the, is for the, the air compressor part. So you put uh, units, I, I don't know what, what that means. Um, and then the then you got that right there. Bar, I I don't know. I use PSI, so that's what I leave it on. And it has different settings, like you see right there. It's a car, so that would be for a, a a vehicle, you know, a truck or a car, whatever. This is for like a bike, and then this is for a little bicycle, and these are for balls. So I have it on that because that's what I use it at. And then you can raise the pressure that you want to set it at. So if I, if my tires need to be at 45, I'll put 45, and then I'll connect. I'll connect it right here. You just screw this into here. Okay, so I screw the interior nice and snug. And then you hook this up to to your truck, or whatever. You know, it's just like like if you're hooking it up to a bicycle, or whatever. And then you're gonna hold this down if it turns off on you. And you press you you press it again whenever you want to start. Check it out. There's air coming out of here right now. And you press it again to turn it off. Or if you need a little bit more. 
see how it says zero PSI? It'll tell you what PSI it's at. So wherever you want to stop it. Um, it seems pretty accurate to me. So since I've already tried it a couple of times, let me unscrew this so we can get it out of the way since I'm going to use the jump starter. Okay, okay, I got it off. So this right here, flashlight, this is where you hook up that uh, this connection right here. You can't really mess it up because one one has a flat side right here and the other one's perfectly round so I'll show you how to connect that right now but let me show you the other on the top so on the top it says in and out you can see right there so the so the in is for the the charger that it comes with it only comes with a cord it doesn't come with the box to charge it so you're gonna have to provide yourself with your own box and then this uh, USB port right here is so that you can charge anything on it I actually have not tried oh sorry i actually have not tried this side i know it says in but i haven't tried that side to charge anything i don't know if it will or not but uh for sure the the out part charges your phone or whatever device you want to connect to it airpods whatever okay so let's open this right here as you can see you can't really mess it up it says engine start so what you do you do this look the way oh trying to focus in right there okay you see that one side's flat one side has a flat side and one side has a round side so that's exactly how you connect this in let me connect it real quick so i'm connecting it shove it in there all the way it's gonna blink like that and then um we're gonna go connect it right now to the battery because this baby is dead as you can tell Pop the hood. It's my old 94. Let's see if I can set y'all somewhere. Okay, this is real time. So I connected it. Uh, you connect the red first and then you connect this one. And let's see, there you go. See it's green? Means it's ready to jump start. Oh wait, hold on. It's not done yet. I think it's charging. Yeah, so it's charging right now. There you go, so turn green. The light is real bright there now. That means it's charging, so let's come start it up. Mmm, not enough juice yet. It says to try a few times, so gonna let it build up a little bit. Still green. Beautiful. She's on. So I tried it once. Now I let it rest for a little bit and tried it again. So now it says to unplug this from from this. So let's do that first. So we unplug this from this. Now we can get the red and the black off. That's it. It's running. Simple as that. This thing is kick ass. And uh, the battery actually lasts a long time. That was the first time that uh, I jump started twice. So much battery has left. So now it's on one. So I probably have one more jump start and then I'll kill the battery on this thing. So you at least have three or four uh probably four times that you can jump start it because jump start it because i've used this uh to air up my my wife's tire and all that or whatever and it was still full bar so yeah pretty freaking neat product 
highly recommend Okay, so I realized you have to have it on like this with the LEDs on in order to power the flashlight. Hold down the flashlight and I'll power on. Click it again for that. Click it again for SOS. Click it again for off. Yep, that's it guys. And um, just so you know, this, this charger is a, uh, I consider it a, a super fast charger or a fast charger whatever you call them nowadays because uh I, I plug my samsung phone the one i'm recording on right now and i have a fast charger inside and this charges it just as fast or maybe even faster than the charger that i have inside so yep that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it um i'll be putting the link in the description for this thing this thing is freaking awesome you saw it for yourself saw it in action um you saw that my battery was completely completely dead um so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and i'll leave a link in the description again and i'll see y'all next time peace